Hey y'all, it's Jag. Welcome back to the arcade. Let's get back to just another game, The Legend of Zelda, the Ocarina of Time. Where we're still kind of in side quest mode before we continue on the main quest. I still have a few things I want to do before I go to the castle and uh, talk to Zelda. One of which is talk to this guy who's enjoying eating. Chomp chomp chomp, we have the legendary magic beans. I'll sell them only to you. Super price, 80 rupees for one piece. All right, sure. You got a magic bean, find a suitable spot for garden and plant it. All right, if you want to plant beans, go around and look for soft soil. All right, so only two more to buy from him. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Do you want magic beans? They aren't cheap, but do you still want them? I can't let them go for less than 90 rupees a piece. Yes? You got a magic bean, find a simple spot, blah, 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 did the thing. Alright, what's your text for the last one? Chomp, chomp, chomp. We have magic beans. Do you want them? Huh? Huh? 100 rupees for one piece. <laughs> no. Oh well. Chomp, chomp. I don't have a hundred rupees, although I haven't shown this off. I might be able to... If I did this right, I might be able to get a pretty significant amount of cash just by floating down the river, but I have to actually do it right, which means I need a cuckoo to get started. And I got a little time to kill before I continue with what I need to do, so let's... Let's do some river floating. I know that there is at least a red rupee. The, the majority of these are gonna be green rupees. But you can't get a red rupee if you float all the way down from the Headlands of Zora's River. Did I screw this up? I screwed this up. Not horribly. By the way, uh, the good thing I was trying to remember in the topmost uh, plateau, there's a fairy fountain up there. If you take this cuckoo and you glide across, A, it's another way to get to the, um, the heart piece that was up there, and B, it gives you access to a fairy fountain. So if you're having trouble making the jump with the cuckoo, you might want to try that. Just bring the cuckoo over here and use it to glide down to the back of that platform. Alright, so I want to go all the way up here and jump in! Jump in! In! Into the water. I haven't gotten to show this off. So just swim along the current. Obtain nothing. There we go. But there was a red rupee you could get this way too. All right, I just wanted to grind coins a little, or rupees a little bit. Show that off. All right, we're out of here. For the time being, we actually do need to go to the castle if we're going to continue doing the side quests that I want to do, because one of the side quests I do want to do is the Happy Mask side quest, which we can complete. We should be able to complete, but to do that we need to go to Hyrule Castle Town, and why is the drawbridge up and the torches lit during the day? It seems weird. It seems really weird, and now it's getting stormy again. What, what's going on? What's going on here?
Oh. It's just like our dream. I lost her. You, over there, little kid. You must have seen the white horse gallop past just now. Which way did it go? Answer me! So, you think you can protect them from me? You got guts, kid. <laughs> you want a piece of me? Very funny. I like your attitude. <laughs> Pathetic little fool. Do you realize who you're dealing with? I am Ganondorf, and soon I will rule the world. Well, if we lived our dream, surely that's the worst thing that's gonna happen to us for the rest of our life, of course. But Zelda threw something. What was this? She almost hit us with it. Uh, not quite. You found the Ocarina of Time. This is the royal family's hidden treasure which, which Zelda left behind. It glows with a mystical light. Link, can you hear me? It's me, Zelda. Link, when you hold this ocarina in your hand, I won't be around anymore. I wanted to wait for you, but I couldn't delay any longer. At least I could leave you the ocarina and this melody. You've learned the Song of Time. Now, Link, play this melody in front of the altar in the Temple of Time. You must protect the Triforce. Oh, Navi's very excited, and we have a new ocarina. It functions identically to Soraya's ocarina, except <laughs> we chunked Soraya's ocarina as soon as we got this one because we like blue. Well, that's kind of a bummer. Zelda's on the run. Hopefully, Impa can keep her protected. I wonder how the people of the town are taking this. I mean, they just saw the princess get, get run out. Oh, they're fine. They're suspiciously fine. Apparently, they don't care. My precious puppy can run faster than any of the other mutts around here. That's... that's great. 
something happened in the castle. Kit, you'd better be careful. Something happened in the... Kid, you better be careful. Oh, okay, I was talking to you. What about you? What do you have to say? I might have seen a cute little girl around here. Maybe she went to the castle? Who knows? Oh, you're still talking about Malon. Oh, excuse me, throwing grass. I almost got kicked by that black horse. Look at that guy. He's so scared. What a web! Ha ha ha! That's so... They kind of acknowledge something happened, but they don't seem really distressed about it. I have a feeling something terrible is going to happen. Maybe I should leave town soon. Alright, uh... How much... You know, I'm going to sell this ferry for mad cash. How much will you s buy a ferry for? Never mind. I'm going to use this ferry, apparently. Oops. <laughs> Alright, well, there is actually kind of a hidden scene that you may not know about. And it's only available before you progress further. Go into the back alley right after Zelda leaves. It's not this guy, but I want to see what it says. Hey, what? What's wrong with loitering around back all day, huh, kid? It's not that guy, but if you come all the way back here... There's a soldier. Ah... Uh. Are you the boy from the forest? I've finally met you. I have something to tell you. Ganondorf, the Gerudo King of Thieves, betrayed our king. Zelda's nanny, Impa, sensed danger and escaped from the castle with our princess. I tried to stop Ganondorf's men from chasing them, but... The princess was waiting for a boy from the forest, that's you. She wanted to give something to the boy. If you received it from the princess, hurry to the temple of time. He's not moving anymore. So yeah, that's... Not a lot of people knew that existed when they first played this game. That was one of those little secrets, and it's kind of interesting that obviously he's there to make sure you go to the Temple of Time, but he's put in such an out-of-the-way place. It's a nice little Easter egg now, more than anything. Alright. Well. Unfortunately for us, nothing has changed in the castle, so we still need to sneak by if we want to get to where we're going. Remember that we were told... We were told that a friend of the Great Fairy lived near the castle. And this has always been a little suspicious. Dead end? But it's got such a big, obvious boulder. It's got a big, obvious boulder I can blow up. I'll just put that right here. Aha! It was a secret! Go in. Welcome to another great fairy's fountain. And for the first time, we get to play our new ocarina. Well, when we're not learning a song. Welcome, Link. I am the Great Fairy of Magic. I will give you a magic spell. Please take it. <laughs> you got dense. You got Din's Fire. Its fireball engulfs everything. Its attack magic you can use with C. You can use Din's Fire not only to attack, but also to burn things. 
<laughs> you know, as fire does. When battle has made you weary, please come back to see me. Okay, so clearly we could have gotten this as soon as we got bombs. In fact, you know, the great fairy who gave us the spin attack deliberately pointed us in this direction. But I never really thought to come back to the castle to get this. It's not... It's not necessary. Like, none of the spells that you get, I would say, are... Uh, actually, no, I'm gonna take that back. Yeah, throw me out. This might be the only spell that's absolutely critical. Which is why they point it out. But it's not, like, essential to survival, I guess. So it's never really factored high in my priorities. I was much more interested in doing things like, you know, getting, um, getting sculptures and heart pieces. Alright, back to the Happy Mask Shop. Oh great, you sold it. Please pay back 10 rupees for the Keaton Mask now. Payment received! Alright, so now we can rent the next one. Skull Mask, 20 rupees, a horned skull mask. Do you want to borrow the skull mask? Yes! You borrowed a skull mask, wear it with C to show it off. You feel like a monster while you wear this mask. Alright. So it's kind of not obvious who might want this one. And also, but I will show you in a minute. I want to do a cut. I want to, I honestly kind of want to grind rupees so I can get that final magic bean. I kind of want to do it. So I'm going to play with the drawbridge. I'll see you guys in a minute. All right. Now, I said it wasn't obvious who we sell the skull mask to, but there's actually a bonus thing you can do before you find the person who wants it. Remember this side quest I've talked about a couple of times? Run through here and fall down around where the butterflies are. There we go. And you'll end up in this special grotto. Forced stage. We are waiting to see your beautiful face win fabulous prizes. There are two masks that they want to see. One is the skull mask. This makes them super happy. And then you come over here. And you want to talk to somebody to get surprised. All of the young Deku Scrub brothers agree. You look exactly like our sacred forest totem. As an offering from us, please accept these Deku sticks. We will also enhance your carrying skills. Abracadabra. Alakazam. You can now pick up even more Deco Sticks. You can carry up to 30 of them. So that's a nice treat. There is another item that we can get in here. But if you come down here and you show them a face that they don't like, they will attack you. <laughs> and it hurts. It hurts quite a bit. You've got to run before you take too much damage. Alright. But what we're supposed to do with this... I'm actually probably just going to warp... I, th I think I remember. I think I remember how to get there. What we're actually supposed to do this is sell this to the Skull Kid that we got uh, the heart piece from Sarah's song from. So if we wear this and we talk to him. Right, let's talk to him over here. <laughs> Under that mask, aren't you that Kokiri kid? Quite an unusual mask you have there. <laughs> I like it. It may make me look a little bit tougher. Hey, why don't you give it to me? Okay. Yowza! I'm gonna wear this all the time. He just gave you 10 rupees for this 20 rupee mask. You lost money on that deal. Go back to the mask, mask. Go back to the mask shop and pay 20 rupees for the mask. 
The difference will have to come out of your own pocket. Ah, uh, well... Shucks and darns. Alright. So that's the second mask done. I will see you guys... Actually... Yeah, I'll see you back at the mask shop. See you in a minute. Alright, back in Hyrule Castle Town, it's time to go a little bit in the red. Oh great, you sold it. Please pay me back 20 rupees for the skull mask now. Payment received. You don't have a choice. Alright. Next mask. Spooky mask. Price 30 rupees. A sad wooden mask. Yeah, we'll borrow it. You borrowed a spooky mask. Wait, let's see the shot off. You may scare many people with this mask. I'm not gonna show all the mask reactions. I mean, a lot of them are just kind of disappointing. Like, hey, you might be really popular. Or, hey, you might scare a lot of people. But if you wear it, they're like, hey, I don't really care. <laughs> yeah, what's your problem? Hey, kid, can't you see we're busy? Leave us alone. See, so, like... They don't really care all that much. Would have been nice if there'd been more things to do with the masks. But I mean, we're doing all this for a particular mask. Alright, well, this mask actually is kind of obvious, even though I didn't really talk to him. There's a kid that would very much like this mask. Because he thinks his face is a little too cute. He can't scare anybody. So maybe we can give him a hand. And hopefully he won't rip us off. Also, uh, I did go back and buy my final magic bean. I am always glad to have that out of the way. Like I said, that is the most expensive thing you do as Child Link as you buy all the magic beans. I mean... They lead you to some very nice things. You don't necessarily need the, all of them, as I've, as I've shown you, there's some shortcuts to getting their rewards. So you can save a little money. While we're here though, speaking of rewards, we have four rewards to get. The curse has been broken. Thank you, here's a reward for you. You obtain the Stone of Agony. If you equip a rumble pack, it will react to nearby secrets. So that may start activating my rumble feature now. I, I forgot, we did get the first reward, so we got three to pick up. The curse has been broken. Thank you, here's a reward for you. You got Bomb Chew. On the select item subscreen, you can set it to the C buttons. Carry in place with C. This is a new type bomb that can even crawl up walls. Aim well and, rele and release it. Alright, we've seen that before. The curse has been broken. Thank you. Here's a reward for you. You got a giant's wallet. What a huge wallet. Now you can carry up to 500 rupees. Very, very nice. You're not nearly free. And you have already given us your reward. Please say my other brothers too. I'm sure they will give you something a lot better. Will you do it? Alright, so... I actually forgot you got bomb shoes, so you need 40 to get the giant's wallet. Which I believe is the biggest wallet in the game. You can't hold more than 500 rupees. Nor should you really need to. Pretty sure there is nothing in this game that is more than... 300? Pretty sure 300 is the most expensive item in the game. Alright, let's put on the mask. Actually, let's talk to you without the mask. Little kids can't go on the heart-pounding grave digging tour described on the sign. Since I can't do that, I'm just imitating Dompei the Gravekeeper all day. But with my cute face, I'm not heart-pounding at all, am I? Alright, so if I get... What you, oh, would you like this bomb? Can I offer you this bomb in this trying time? Yeah! It's Dompei the Gravekeeper! Huh? Oh, it's just a mask. I get a different kind of fright from that mask than I get from Dompei. Will you give that mask to me? Uh, sure. With this mask, I'll be just like Dompei. Here's my money. 
You sold the 30 rupee mask to a kid for full price? And he didn't mind paying at all. Let's go back to the mask shop to pay 30 rupees for the mask. You can get the new mask model too. Alright. I'm gonna do just that. So I'm gonna do a quick cut and I will see you back at the happy mask shop. Alright, it's time to buy the final mask. Oh great, you sold it. Please pay me back 30 rupees for the spooky mask now. Payment received. If you don't have the money, he kind of freaks out. You know, I, I, I kind of should have shown that off at some point. Alright. I'll take the bunny hood with swinging rabbit ears. <laughs> yes, I want to borrow the bunny hood. You borrowed a bunny hood. Where it was seen to show it off. The hood's long ears are so cute. Alright. Now, this is one where you probably will not know who to give it to because he only shows up, I believe, after you you obtained the Zora Sapphire. I used to think it was even after you went back in time for the first time, but he might show up now. I'm gonna look around. Basically, you're looking for the running man. He runs in big loops all over, Lon around Lon Lon Ranch, all over Hyrule Field. Uh, you can't talk to him during the day. He only stops running at night. Now, the good thing about the bunny hood is while you're wearing it, though, skull kid or stall kids won't appear. So that's a distinct bonus. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to look for him and I'm going to cut until I find him. So I'll see you guys in a minute. I bet with those long ears, you can hear the voices. Oh, these are genuine rabbit ears from the Animal of Legend. I don't care how expensive it is. Please sell it to me. Uh, no way. That's not the answer I wanted to hear. Yeah, but I wanted to talk to you without it first. In old times, I heard there were many wild rabbits in the land of Hyrule. Not anymore, though, because of excessive hunting. I want to become a rabbit. Listen to the wind with those ears, hop across the ground with those legs. Even if I can only pretend. Alright. You notice that they immediately popped up as soon as I took off the rabbit ears. Alright. Now I will sell it to you. I don't care how expensive it is, please sell it to me. Yes. My long dream, returning to the wildlife. Finally, the actors, stage, and prop have been united. It's a 50 rupee mask, but he paid you a crazy amount of money for it. More money than you can count. Go back to the mask shop and pay back just 50 rupees of this money. No matter which size wallet you have, he will fill it up. So you want to do this after you get the giant's wallet, because you'll get the most money. Uh, of course, now you guys are back. And if we... I'm gonna go ahead and show this off. Now that he's got the rabbit ears... He, goes, he won't run at night. There we go. I want to make sure I've got him in sight. But during the day... He books it, and he will knock you down if you don't get out of your out of his way. Like he gets a major speed increase after you give him the bunny ears. And I didn't want to do it with P hats. Screw P hats. I don't care about P hats. Leave me alone, P hats. Go away. So yeah, uh, that is a crazy amount of money. I always wait until I get the giant's wallet because it fills you up. If you're struggling to find money to pay for like the magic beans, this is a great way to get all the money you need for it. Alright, I think... I think there is one final gold sculpture that we can get now that we have Den's fire over here. 
Yep, my controller's rumbling now. The stun of agony's going off. So... It actually might be a better reward now than it was with the Nintendo 64, because now it actually activates the rumble feature when you're near a secret of modern controllers. That's nice. Alright, you need dense fire to burn through these webs. Let's see. We'll try this one. There's no other source of fire. Alright, that killed the Scotula. It's apparently not the right one. There we go. Oh, no, don't hit the cow. Where is it? Oh, over there. Oh, I didn't want to do dense fire. I'm sorry, cow. I lost a lot of magic, but oh well. You destroyed a gold sculpture. You got a token proving you destroyed it. That's number 44. Which is more than I ever got as a kid before. All right. I'm going to do a final cut. I'm going to go to the castle, show off our reward for renting out all the masks, and then we're going to call it an episode there. So I will see you guys in a second. It's kind of funny. I really wondered if I was going to be able to fill up fill this episode up, and I think I did it nicely. Alright, see you in a minute. Alright, back in the happy mask shop, it's time to pay back our money. Oh great, you sold it. Please pay me back 50 rupees for the bunny hood now. Oh yeah! Very well done. All the masks are sold out. I knew I could trust you. As a reward, I will lend you this special mask. This is the Mask of Truth. It is, it is a mysterious mask passed down by the Shika. With this mask, you can see into other people's minds. It's useful, but scary. Why is it scary? You may find out as you grow older and discover the true meaning of life. Ho ho ho! You borrowed a Mask of Truth. Where it was seen to show it off? Show it to many people. From now on, you can borrow any mask you want. Just have faith. So, there's also some other masks that just popped up here. We have the Gerudo mask, the Zoro mask, and the Goron mask. I'll show these off another time. They get some interesting reactions when you use them with certain people. But the Mask of Truth has something very special indeed. The Mask of Truth allows you to learn things from Gossip Stones. Responding to your mask, the strange stone statue talks to you. I overheard this. They say that Gerudos sometimes come to Hyrule Castle Town to look for boyfriends. Sometimes it's useful, sometimes it's just gossip. Responding to your mask, the strange stone statue talks to you. I overheard this. They say that it is against the rules to use glasses at the treasure chest shop in Hyrule Castle Town Market. Interesting. Alright, well we're going to call it for this episode. There is one thing that we can do with the, with the uh, Mask of Truth at the fourth stage. I will start t n tomorrow's episode off with that. And then that's the last thing we can do as a child. It's time to head for the Temple of Time. I'll see you then. Thanks for coming out and joining me today. As always, I appreciate it. If you enjoyed what you saw, let me know. Give me likes, leave me comments. Remember to subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.